2014 when I visited my 92-year-old uncle, Neil Ramirez, in Sacramento. I went to see how the drought had affected Folsom Lake. I was struck by how shallow it was. My uncle and Aunt Irene would take my sister Judy and I there in the summers between 1958 to 1960 to go water skiing in its deep blue waters that sparkled with flecks of full skull. Thirty years ago, right where I'm standing, you couldn't see me because I'd be deep underwater. This is how much the water level has dropped over the years. This is a about a 10-year drought, and there's no relief in sight. Well, I, re well, I used to take Marlene and Judy. They used to come and visit me from Chicago, and we used to do a lot of water, water skiing, swimming, play around in the boat. The good old days. Built as part of the Central Valley Project by the Army Corps of Engineers, Folsom Dam and its reservoir, Folsom Lake, provide flood control, hydroelectricity, irrigation, and drinking water to the Sacramento area. John Sutter founded Sacramento in 1848 because it was at the confluence of the American and Sacramento River. He built Sutter's Mill where California gold was first discovered that started the gold rush. It is hard to believe when looking at Folsom Lake today that since Sacramento's beginning, floods have been a problem. In 1862, Governor Leland Stanford had to take a rowboat to his inauguration. The beautiful old stately buildings in downtown Sacramento sit high up off the ground with basements that were meant to avoid periodic flooding. Old Sacramento still has hollow sidewalks, some built as high as 14 feet to circumvent flooding. 1986 had the most severe in 150 years. There were five record floods within 46 years. The last flood was in 1995. According to the 2014 Stanford report, California's crippling drought is linked to climate change created by greenhouse gases. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change in November 2014 reported climate change will increase the risk of severe heat waves and extreme weather. Since the 1800 Industrial Revolution, human activities are responsible for most of the increase of greenhouse gases. The largest source of greenhouse gas emissions is the burning of fossil fuel for electricity, heat, and transportation. The biggest deniers of climate change are big oil corporations like ExxonMobil, Royal Dutch Shell, BP, Total SA, Coke Industries, Chevron Corporation, and ConocoPhillips, as well as electric utilities corporations like General Electric, Southern Co., First Energy, and Edison Electrical Institute. They are the highest spending industrial lobbyists advocating deregulation and expansion of their industry. They are among the top polluters in the United States.